book from downtown San Diego and Petco Park. Today, the finale of this three-game weekend series between the East-leading Philadelphia Phillies and the San Diego Padres. Welcome into the broadcast booth, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here with Play by Play. I'm joined by Eric Karros and Steve Lyons. And Eric, let's give the folks at home a look at what's happened in the first two games of the series. Yeah, it's been an entertaining series to watch so far. Crowd have been very energetic, and I think we're looking at another good ball game here in the finale. All right, EK, we'll get to Steve in a moment, but first, let's take a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Philadelphia Phillies, as their order will read like this. Ian Kennedy will have the challenge of stopping these guys. This is a guy that's got a workhorse mentality out there, not afraid to throw a lot of pitches, but if he gets careless with his location, he can be hittable. Defensively, the pod range alignment will look like this. Ben Revere will step to the plate now as we're ready to get this one underway. Here's a swing on the very first pitch this afternoon as this is lifted in the air to center. Batista is underneath this one. One pitch, one away. One of the keys to the game for this guy is going to be getting out early in the count. It doesn't necessarily have to be one pitch like it was there, but he needs to keep those 20 pitch innings to a minimum. That's a good start to the game for him there. Chase Utley will stand in, and he's been tearing the cover off the ball the past few days, as you see his numbers from the last five ball games. Now the first pitch. And here's a called strike to the 36-year-old veteran. It's nothing in one. EK, as we take a look at our home nine as they take the field here this afternoon, well, they've been on a pretty good roll of late, winners of seven of their last eight ball games. And after the loss in the opener of the series, that was a much-needed win yesterday. So they can look to win this series and take two out of three if they can just take care of business here. Ready now on one and one. Now a swing and another fly ball here as things are getting busy out there in Central. And that's into the gap and should be extra bases. And Utley still going. He's heading for third. And he'll make it to third with a triple. That man right there is one of the most unlikely guys in the building, besides you, Lions, to wind up with a triple. He was huffing and puffing all the way around, but he sees the opportunity and Give him credit. He's able to make it there safely. Brandon Jordan will stand in as he'll enter play fourth in the National League batting race. Here's the first offering. Now a check swing, but it's strike one anyway, says the home plate on fire. Well, this is the kind of situation where they came up short last night. They had opportunities, but they could never really cash them in. So you can bet they'd love to get something going on the board early here. Come on, hold it down. Pause, now the pitch. A late swing here as this is hit hard to the right side. But this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. Set now the pitch. The next.
pitched 0-2 misses, and that'll move it to 1-2 now. Now, how important is it going to be for this guy to throw that curveball for strikes? I don't know that he necessarily needs to ever throw it for a strike. I mean, if it's around the plate and he's getting guys to go after it, it's doing its job. But if he starts to get too high or too far outside, then it's just an easy take. From the belt, kicks and deals. And this is fouled straight back. He'll try again, one, two. Swing and a shot back up the middle. And a base hit as the Phillies will strike first in this one. They lead it one nothing. Just a perfect swing right there. You'll see it. Head down, eyes right on the baseball all the way. Great extension. He just drives this thing into center field to score that runner from third. Michael Franco will stand in, and you see there, he's been scorching hot these past few games. Okay, pitch down. to the at-bat to check on first. Just keeping him close. First offering on the way. Swung on and lifted in the air to left. And he can't track it down. A base hit. And with that, that'll push his hit streak to a modest six games. Adrian Beltre will stand in, and he's certainly a dangerous man up there, currently second in the National League in RBIs. Take it, hit the ball. Get the strike out. First pitch coming. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. Now here's a spot with a run home already. That looks nice on the scoreboard. But if you could put up a two or even a three spot here in the first, that could really go a long way against a guy like this. He's ready. Now the pitch. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Would you say he's not really finishing his pitches at this point? That's a good way to put it. It looks like he's aiming a little too much, and that's not working for him. Here's the one and one now to Beltre. That's right there at the belt. One and two now. Well, this first inning's been a rough one already. He needs an out here in the worst way. Yeah, and you don't want to get caught having to play catch up this early in the ball game. So you're right. He's got to work his way out of this jam right now. The one two. And here's the ball lifted back toward the stands in right. So we'll try it again at one and two. Big pitch here, one and two. And a foul pop behind the plate. And he'll lunge out of the crouch to make the play for out number two. Darren Ruff will dig in now. He's got that average up over 330 to begin the ball game. Now the first pitch. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. And, and you know, if you're going to challenge a guy up in the zone with a fastball, why not do it on the first pitch? A lot of times, he's going to be taken anyway, and you just bought yourself a strike that you can now throw anything off of. You're nothing, he's set. Now the pitch. Hey. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. Well, no taking now. He's going to have to swing the bat. He's ready now. The pitch. And a big strikeout there as they'll leave a couple of runners on base. And after a good start to the inning, they can't capitalize any further. Phillies will have to be content with just the one. On now to the bottom of inning number one. Phillies lead this one one to nothing.
starting lineup for the host Padres looks like this. They'll go to work against a three-time All-Star, the former Cy Young Award winner, Lefty Cliff Lee. Now we'll look at the way the Phillies will line up behind him. Cameron Maven will step in now to lead things off in the home half of the first. takes ball one. Eric, these Phillies as they begin play here today, they suffered a bit of a setback last time out, but not to worry. They're still 6-2 and two over their previous eight ball games. And on top of that, they've already spotted their starter an early lead in this one, so they're going to let their guy work with the lead right away. 2-0 and oh now. Lee readies the 2-0. 3-0 oh now. Not the start he was looking for here in the home first. Yeah, and he even had himself a lead before he even threw a pitch out there. You think that alone would make you a little more relaxed and comfortable. But he looks a little tight to me. And he takes ball four. So the leadoff man is on here as they're trying to get that run right back here in the first. And he's saying, give me a break. And that pitch is right there. Yeah, I tell you, though, complaining like that is only going to squeeze that strike, though, a little more. Yonder Alonso will get his first shot here with the runner on following the leadoff walk. Now, here's the first pitch. And that's in there for strike one. And that's what he needed to do after the four-pitch walk. Come right back and get ahead versus the next guy. Lee Ruddy with the 0-1. Lays off the circle change there, a ball and a strike. Seemed to quicken his delivery to the plate on that last pitch. Well, you got to remember the slide step does two things for you. It gets the catcher the ball quicker so he can throw a guy out. Or it will hold the runner on first so he doesn't steal at all. The 1-1. One, one. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Here's the 2-1 pitch. A little too tall that time. 3-1 and one now. You have to figure that he's really going to need to keep the walks in check if he's going to have success here. I was thinking the same thing. No free rides. You've got to make these guys earn it. From the belt, the pitch. And that is in there at the letters to run it full three and two. A pretty dangerous spot for that one. I don't think it was by design. It's one thing to miss your spots out of the zone, but... When you miss in the zone, especially up, that's when you tend to get hurt. Full count offering on its way. And he just manages to stay alive here as he fights this one foul. Here's the 3-2 pitch. Now he turns on one and rips it down the line. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again, 3-2. pitch one more time. Oh, and he hammers it to deep right field. And say goodbye to that one. End of the season right for a home run. A two-run blast to straight
straight away right field. Home run number 15 for him thus far. And it gives the Padres a 2-1 to one lead. Part of the blame for this one on the leadoff walk, but I suppose you could also hang some of the blame on the fact that this pitch is right in his wheelhouse. You make sure he doesn't miss it. Here's Justin Upton now. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball, but a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Now here's the pitch. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. And you figure to see that change up more and more as this day progresses. And the first time through the lineup, you want these guys to know that you've got this pitch in your arsenal. Sometimes pitchers want to hold on to pitches and not show everything right away. But here, you want these guys to be thinking. I know he's got that changeup, so I'd better not sit on the fastball too often. With some guys, it doesn't matter if it's 0-2 or 2-0. They take the same approach either way. Well, this right here is one of those guys, and he comes through from being down in the count. Into the box, Jesus Batista as he'll swing at the first pitch and ground it foul off to the right at strike one. As a look, now the pitch. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. One one from Lee, and he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Here comes a one two. Now a hard hit ball back up the middle. Step on the back for one. On to first, a double play. This is a nice play up the middle. You can see this ball takes the shortstop right to the bag, so. He'll just step on second, fire on to first for the double play. Stepping in now, Yonherba Solarte. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. His average right at 295 here to start play. Five homers and 31 RBIs. Pitch on the way. Ball one. I think that's consistent with how the strike zone gets called nowadays. That's a strike in the rule book, but most umpires won't give you that pitch anymore. Here's the one one. Now a swing and an easy ground ball to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Padres get a couple of runs in the inning on the two-run home run. Second inning coming up. It's now two to one, Fryer. Salvador Perez will get his first shot here. A couple of hits in four trips last night. Salvador Perez. First pitch coming. And the first pitch here is pulled on the ground to third. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. And one away in the inning here as you see the Padres modeling their camouflage jerseys this afternoon. Popular here as a salute to the many servicemen and women in the San Diego area. Dominic Brown will stand in. He comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. Now here's the first pitch. And this is going to be a foul ball in amongst the spectators. 
Bases are empty, one man out. Now here's the pitch. Goes the other way as this is lined to left. And two quick outs here in the second. And that's one of those plays where you might need to reinforce the laces on your glove after this inning ends. This is a fastball, and it is hammered. I mean smoked. But he ends up with nothing, and his average is going to go down. In now, Cliff Lee. As he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. Two out, nobody on. The pitch. Oh, man, a fastball just misses. It's one and one. Are you kidding me, Ian? Now the one and one pitch. On the ground towards second. Throw on to Alonzo, takes care of him, and that ends the inning. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. They're down 2-1. Jet Jerko will stand in now. He homered in the ball game last night. First pitch to him. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Well, you can tell he's trying to work that pitch away, but he might have left that one a little more over the plate than he intended. Now, pitch on the way. Here we go. Right back with another fastball. It's 0-2 now. The 0-2 now from Lee. Here's a ball hit pretty well and carrying the deep right. Jordan is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Derek Norris will step in now. First pitch to him. And there's a fastball from Lee to start him out. It's 0-1. Now here it comes. Here we go. Mm, chased out of the zone there, and he's down two strikes. Now the pitch. A late swing here as this is hit hard to the right side. But a foul ball, and the count holds it 0-2. Now another 0-2. This for Utley at second. Oh, and he overshoots his first baseman as it's over his head. It's just an airmail shot that time. The pickup's good, but this ball just sails straight over his head at first base. Good effort to try and go up and get it, but this is well out of his reach. Clint Varmus will be the batter. Pitch on its way from Lee. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Runner at second here with one man out. He waits. Now the pitch. This is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now. 0-2. Comes change. set. Now the pitch. Way outside. One and two. And he doesn't want to give in here, even on a one and two count. Not with the base open and the pitcher on deck. One out and a runner on second base. A one two home from Lee. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. And after the error on that previous play, I think he's out there saying, you know what? Why don't I just take care of this guy myself? 
Good job out there to bounce back with the strikeout. Into the box now, Ian Kennedy. As a good changeup will get him to commit too early, and it's strike one. Yeah, and you know you've got a good changeup when you can come out and throw it first pitch, just like he did right there. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Pause, now the pitch. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. And, and you can't make this easy on him right here. At least make some contact and force him to make a play. From the stretch. A little bit off the outside. It's one and two. I think he's set up for that changeup again, Steve. Don't you? I was thinking the same thing. One, two. Taken the other way, but this should be routine out there in right field. Jordan is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Padres lead one as they're unable to add to their two to one lead. Ben Revere, ready to go here as we begin the third. Center fielder, number two, Ben Revere. Third baseman in tight, protecting the bunt, the first pitch. And a good pitch on the inside corner for strike one. And the pitch. Fouled back. Now the pitch. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Come on, Padre. Here's the one, two. Fastball called strike three, and there's the first down of the inning. Yeah, it took him a few batters to get it going in the first, but after that first inning run, he's come back to retire the next six in a row. Chase Utley will dig in. He tripled and later scored his first time around. And here's the first pitch. Oh, hits sharply as this is pulled into right. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Not an easy play out there. You hear that phrase, make sure your first step is back. But he might have got fooled there just a little bit because this is a big swing, but just a little looper. He manages to charge straight in and make the play. Standing in now, Brandon Jordan. As he'll take a look at his strike on the outside corner, it's 0-1. It's so important with guys like this to get ahead with strike one. Put them behind in the count and on their back foot right away. Pitch on the way. Wait. Goes the other way and sends it deep down the right field line. And that ball will stay fair and it's gone. A home run. A solo shot down the line in right. Home run number 15 for him thus far as the Phillies have come back to tie this one at two. You just can't throw that pitch right there. That swing tells a story right there. I mean, he got all of that one. Remember, he homered in yesterday's ball game too, so he's riding a pretty good hot streak these past couple of days. The Into the box, seven. Michael Franco. Michael First pitch of the Franco. AB is swung on and lifted in the air to straightaway center. Batista is gonna have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. But the Bills have come back to tie it thanks to this solo home run. Bottom of the third coming up, and we're deadlocked now at two apiece. 
Cameron Maven makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. First pitch on the way. And that misses ball one. The 1-0 pitch. And the off-speed pitch is taken here. A ball and a strike. The 1-1 home. And that's lifted in the air out toward left. And Brown will look this one in for route number one. Yonder Alonso will try things again. He hit that two-run homer his first time. Here's the first offering. And this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. Here's the 1-0. Fastball at 88 that time. A ball and a strike. One out. Nobody on. One one on the way. And he's keeping it down here. And that's a cold strike too. Now you can't look for a specific pitch. You just got to protect the plate. Here's the lefty's offering on one and two. And he'll try to entice him with the change up here, but it dips below the knees. It's two and two. Here comes a two two. And here's a ball hit in the air. Jordan is over, and he puts it away in foul ground for the second out. Justin Upton will stand in. Base hit his first time around. First pitch coming. Cold strike at the letters, 0-1. Two flyouts here to start the inning. It's a little different pitching in this place. you got to figure the more fly balls he gets here, the better. Yeah, usually it's the other way around. You want to make guys hit it on the ground, and you still do, but there's no question that fly balls get swallowed up here much easier than they do in just about any other park in baseball. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's 1-1. One and, one. and if he can get himself into a fastball count, don't be surprised if he has a big cut at something. Maybe try and break this tie ball game. A 1 1 now to Upton. Now a swing and a ground ball, but a foul ball, 1 and 2 now. Upton awaits the 1 2. And a fastball called strike three, and the side is retired. Padres down in order. We're through three, tied to a piece. Adrian Beltre will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. Adrian Beltre. Here's the pitch. Fastball in there for a cold strike. Well, as we've seen so far, this isn't a team that's going to wait around too long to feel a pitcher out. They're an aggressive team all the way from top to bottom. And if that first pitch is anywhere close, most of these guys are going to take a hack at it. Now here's the pitch. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Here's the one and one now to Beltray. 
No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And this is something we've seen a lot from him recently. He's worked his way into another good hitter's count. Yeah, it's not unrelated either. When you're going good at the plate, usually means you're being selective and you're not getting yourself out. And when that happens... Now a swing and a sharp ground ball to third. From a knee, he gets him. What a play. Now, and this isn't good. The training staff will help him off as he elevates that right leg. And unfortunately, I think this might look like something that keeps him out of commission for a while. Ramiro Pena will come in as the new third baseman now following the injury. Number 13. Darren Ruff will try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. The batter, first baseman. Now the first pitch. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. And I don't think that's where he wanted that two-seamer to end up. That thing leaked right back over the heart of the plate. Now here's the pitch. Oh, and he's no really ball. getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Yeah, same pitch, same result, and he's late on it again. Two runs, four hits, and one error in the ballgame for the Phillies so far. And a bouncing ball, foul. The 0-2 once more. Now here's a ball hit sharply toward the right side. Base hit. A pretty good swing there. You'll watch Head stays down, ball gets deep in the zone, and he lets those hands lead the way, and he drives it to right field. That's as good an approach as you're going to see. Here's the catcher, Salvador Perez, as he'll go after the first pitch and bounce one foul for the first strike. set now the pitch tries to shave the corner with that pitch but it's one and one a lot of late movement on that fastball that nearly came back to the outer edge Perez waiting on the one one fouled straight back From the belt, kicks and deals. And here's a changeup in there for a cold third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. There's a look at his pitch count so far. You can see he's already thrown 37 pitches for strikes. That shows me that he's been able to work the zone effectively to this point. Dominic Brown will stand in, a lineout victim his first time. First offering on the way. A bit high there. A ball and no strikes. The 1-0. And this is lifted in the air out to left. And he dives to make a spectacular catch. What a play there to end the inning. Worth a second look here as this is a beauty to end the inning. More to come on the show Sunday Baseball after this. Jesus Batista will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. First pitch coming. 
Now a first pitch changeup here. Too far inside. It's 1-0. and The next pitch. Here we go. Now a hard liner towards short. But right there to glove it is the shortstop for the first out. And that's one of those plays where you might need to reinforce the laces on your glove after this inning ends. This is a fastball, and it is hammered. I mean, hammered out there. But he's going to wind up with nothing to show for it. In now, Ramiro Pena. Standing in from the right side as he takes strike one. And I think now you're starting to get the sense that he's put that first inning behind him, and he looks a lot more comfortable out there now. Lee Ruddy with the 0-1. Now a pitch swung on and hit to the left side, but this is going to find the seats of foul ball. The 0-2 now from Lee. That's inside and low. It's a ball and two strikes. And now, as a hitter, one and two, you've got to be thinking right center field. It'll take a little swing out and try to drive something the other way. Now the veteran deals on one and two. Looked like the cut fastball there, and he got him to swing through it for the second out. Boy, and he's come out with a plan against these hitters, and he's executed that plan to perfection here early on. That's seven in a row now he's sent down. Jet Jerko will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. First pitch on its way from Lee. And he catches the inside corner for a called strike. Nothing in one. I tell you, he's got a good pace, a good tempo to him out there right now. Now here it comes. Nope. One and oh. one. Sometimes all it takes is just one call to go against you, like that one right there, and then you get yourself out of your own rhythm. You got to be able to put that behind you and move on. Let's go, players. Bases are empty here with two men out. Here's the one-one pitch. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats, out of play. It's one and two. Now the one-two. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. Well, this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Now another one-two. And a swing and a ball hit foul heading for the seats. So another foul ball here, and it remains one and two. Again, a one-two. Here's Jerko now with a high fly ball out to deep left field. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the left field wall. It's kind of a surprise to me that he wouldn't try to go for two on this play. I don't know if he got caught up in his home run trot a little bit too early or what. He's going to wind up on first base here with a single off the wall. Derek Norris will dig in. He reached on an error his first time. Now the first pitch. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. He'll send it the short way to Utley at second, and that's that. One left for San Diego. Through four, we're deadlocked at two apiece. Cliff Lee will make his way towards the box Hitting to lead the off player. the fifth. The pitcher number 33, Cliff Lee. Now here's the first pitch. And who looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside. It's nothing in one. The pitch count there. One pitch into his fifth inning of work. Not much of a concern, I wouldn't imagine. Yeah, it shouldn't be. He hasn't had any real overtaxed innings, so he should be fine for the time being. 
Comes back with a fastball up and away that swung on and missed. 0-2. Uh, you can tell he's still frustrated after that first called strike. It's still on his mind. Now the pitch. Still sticking with the fastball, but this time he lays off. It's 1-2. So it appears he's going to leave the game here as he favors that left leg. Hoping that it's not too serious, however, as he's able to get off on his own power. Robbie Erlin will be summoned now to take over following the injury. Here comes the one-two. Here's a ball hit foul down the third baseline, so they'll try it again. Here's another one, too. Now another pitch is hit foul and headed for the seats, so the count will stay put at one and two. Another one-two delivery. To two balls and two strikes now. Yeah, after that last swing, I would have thought they'd go right back in, but that's actually not a bad location because I doubt he was looking for something out there. Here now the 2-2. Now here's another pitch fouled off and heading for the seats, and he's just fighting to stay alive here. Still 2-2. Two and two. The 2-2 two -two one more time. And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first out. Well, yeah, but even though that's just going to go in the books as a strikeout, it was pretty expensive in terms of pitches. And when you think pitcher on pitcher, that's what you'd like your guy to go up there and do. At least give someone a battle. Ben Revere will stand in now. He flew out in his first time around and then was a strikeout victim last time. First pitch coming. Oh, Low for ball one. Action now in the Padre bullpen as it looks like a right-hander is getting loose out there. The 1-0. Oh. Oh, and this winds up inside for a ball. 2-0 oh now. Two really close pitches to kick off this at bat. Normally this guy would be all over him, but he's shown some discipline here with two good takes. Here's the 2-0. Oh. Hey. And that catches the outside corner. It's 2-1. and one. Boy, good pitch, good spot. That thing tailed right back over the outside corner. Two runs, five hits, and one error in the ballgame for the Phillies so far. Swing and a ball line hard towards short, but right at the shortstop for the second out. Ah, strikeout and a soft liner here. He's had no problems with this inning so far at all. In is the second baseman, Chase Utley. As he'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. And even with two outs, this is a team that can still put something together here, especially in this part of the lineup. So you can't let your guard down. Now the pitch. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. And the pitch. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. Two out, nobody on. Ready with another 0-2. And they'll try to get Utley to chase, but he holds off. It's 1-2. and two. Could be that that high fastball there was just a setup pitch. Now you've kind of established that high sight level. Could be a good time to break Woo! off a nasty curveball. Pitch on the way. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first, and the side is retired. Phillies down in order. Halfway home. His first time.
there's a 1-0. And Barmas will lay off again, and it's 2 -0. That first at-bat. Is a learning experience. Those have both been real good takes. Here comes the 2-0. He bounces this one sharply and through the hole into left field. It's a base hit. Yeah, an ideal setup here with the pitcher on deck. He comes through with a solid single to start things out. Now you give your pitcher a chance to bunt you over and make a productive out. Robbie Ehrman will stand in now. A late entrant to the ball game as he'll be making his first plate appearance here in inning number five. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. And he pops up the bunt attempt. And he'll lunge forward to make the catch for the first out. Well, of course, one of the cardinal rules of bunting, you have to try to bunt a strike. Here he just sort of jabs at this thing, pops it up, and this essentially becomes a wasted at bat. Cameron Maben will stand in. He flew out his last time up. First pitch to him. Slowly hit to first. I don't think they can get two. The second for one. But one's all they were ever going to get, and the inning will continue. Oh, there's so much that can go wrong with this play right here. This will give us a great angle to look at it. Look where he fields this thing. Then as he goes to throw it, stop it right there. He's got no real direct lane to the bag. Now, we've seen guys screw this up all the time. They throw it off the runner's back. They hit someone's helmet. Anything could go wrong. But he's able to avoid that danger here as he gets that force at second base. Here's Yonder Alonso as he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. Man at first with two out in a 2-2 ball game. 1-0 on the way. And this is hit sharply toward the third base coaching box, a foul ball. One one from Lee. That's hard hit back up the middle. He'll send it the short way to Utley at second, and that's that. Padres leave one through five, all even at two two. Brandon Jordan will stride in again, and before he takes his cuts here, let's flash you back to the third inning. This was just a solo shot, but it definitely helped get this offense going. Now here's the first pitch. And he takes a cold strike, 0 and 1. Not a bad idea to take a look at that one there. Now that you've seen the curveball, you can start to get a better gauge on it. Get a feel for what it looks like coming out of the pitcher's hand. The pitch. And this ball's heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0 and 2 now. Now here's the pitch. And this is down at knee level as it's chopped foul at home plate. Here comes another 0 2. Now a swing and another ball that I believe will find its way into the seats. Still 0-2. Another 0-2 home. Way outside. 1-2. and two. Well, he might have just said, look, you're going to have to take this one because you ain't fouling that one off. Now here's the pitch. Swing, and I believe this one is going to find the seats as well. It does, so quite a battle here as it remains one and two. 
And this is hit well towards the hole. Look at this. Throw not in time, and he's in there with his third hit of the afternoon. Oh, that's a nice effort that time out there at second base. Watch as he flags this one down. He has to lay out to do it. Then he scrambles to get it over to first base in time, but really nice hustle getting down the line. Beats this one out. Stepping in now, Michael Franco. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. Oh. And you figure now this would be a spot where that man might try to take second base. And it wouldn't be a bad idea to hold the ball a little longer out there on the mound. Really vary your times to the plate. You can't be predictable out there or he'll take advantage. 1-0. Oh. Oh, and he goes the other way and he drives it out to deep right center field. Maven is going to get there as that familiar ocean air knocks it down. Well, this is a home run swing, and it looked like he thought he had one off the crack of the bat. But this place, not exactly known for being a home run haven, and this ball dies out there on the warning track. Adrian Beltre stand in for the third time now, still without a hit, so that streak could be in a bit of jeopardy. And I think that's in the back of his mind, but it's not something he's really focused on. He just wants to get up there and put a good swing on the ball. And here's the first pitch. In there for strike one. Yeah, the best way to neutralize this guy's power, just keep putting pitches right there. He's ready now, the pitch. Now about a 58-foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. Here's the 1-1 pitch. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. The one and two with one away. Now a ball lined hard toward deep right field. Maven is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. And that's actually a lot tougher play than it looks out there in right field. You know, sometimes off of a right-hander's bat, that ball can kind of curl away from you, but he stays right with it to put it away. Darren Ruff will stand in. A strikeout victim his first time, and then a base hit last time around. First pitch to him. High and away on the first pitch. Fastball there. It's ball one. Now the 1 0. And this is fouled back and out of play. Two out with the man at first. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. Pitch misses low. The throw down. Way late, and he's in there easily at second. That is impressive speed right there when you can still steal a base on a slide step. Wow, that was nice. Here's the 2-1 and one pitch. Chopper foul. Two out here and a runner at second. Sets the 2-2 pitch. Tried to fool him with the changeup, but he won't offer at it. Three and two. Now, he does have first base open, so he doesn't have to come in right here. He can try to make that perfect pitch. and You know what? If he misses, who cares? Payoff pitch coming. And a drive out to deep right center field. But that'll be off the wall in right center. And the go-ahead runs in to score as they break the tie. It's 3-2. to two. I got to tell you, I love the way this guy just lets it rip. Ahead in the count, behind in the count. It really doesn't matter to this guy. He's just going to go up hacking. And he drives in a run right here as he just drills this one for two bases.
And ball four here on the intentional walk. So now they'll have a force at any base with two gone. The left fielder, number nine, Dominic Brown. Dominic Brown will step in now and see what he can do with two on and two out here in the sixth. Here's the first offering. And this is hit hard on the ground to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. One for the Phillies here on the RBI double. Through five and a half, and Philadelphia's taken a three to two lead. Justin Upton step in now to lead off the inning as his guys look to maybe break the rut they've been stuck in. Yeah, and after that first inning, it's been all zero since. And once he kind of got settled into that groove, he's been a difficult nut to crack. First pitch on the way. Swing and a hard hit ball towards the hole. And that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm, a base hit. Center fielder, number five, Jesus Batista. Jesus Batista will dig in. He lined out hard in his last time around. Now the first pitch. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Not too many strikeouts on the ledger for him so far, but it hasn't really mattered. Yeah, I think ideally you'd like to see him miss a few more bats, but as long as you're keeping guys off balance and you're letting your defense help you, you don't need to strike a ton of guys out to be successful. Ruff battles the sun a bit, but has it for out number one. Yeah, a good pitch there as he gets the pop out on the fastball as we take a look at his pitch breakdown. Ramiro Pena will try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. First offering on the way. Here's a two-seamer inside to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. pitch now. Now a double play ball here for Beltre at third. Utley for one. Relay to first in time and just like that the side is retired. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. We're back with more on a Sunday afternoon following this. Back here at Petco Park. It's on to the seventh inning now with the Phillies out in front, and it's a good time to check out our game summary through the first six innings so far. Sean Kelly will come on now as he'll be appearing in his 45th game this year. Sean Kelly. Cliff Lee will try it again. He's grounded out and struck out in two trips. Starts him with a good rising fastball there for strike one. And that's about where he'll sit with that fastball, 93, 94. And that's plenty hard enough to blow up by guys when you need to. Now the pitch. Swing and a ball hit foul as this will find the seats in right. Now here it comes. Off the plate at 94, one and two. Maybe a good opportunity here to show him a change up, give him a different look.
right-hander deals on one and two. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first out. Getting that first out is always critical in a one-run ball game. And they could certainly use a quick seventh inning. Ben Revere will stand in, and they've done a good job keeping him off base at the top of the lineup. He's 0 for 3 thus far. First pitch coming. Driven nicely into the gap, and it's going to get down and should be extra bases. Around first is Revere on his way to second now, and he's not stopping. He wants three. And he will make it up to third base as that is a gift there off of what was a terrible throw. The second baseman, number well, 26, these deep Jason dimensions Hunter. here at Petco are death to power hitters. But if you get a gap hitter with some speed, you're going to get your share of triples. And he checks in here with three bases. In is the second baseman, Chase Utley, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. And the infield behind him has come in here, but I've got a feeling he's going to try to handle this one himself. He's ready. Now the pitch. And this is high, a ball and a strike. That high fastball is definitely a pitch guys will pop up and that's what he's looking for on the mound. So that's good restraint to hold back and not swing. Now the 1-1. One, one. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. In time to first and there are two away. Oh my goodness right back to the pitcher and the runner's lucky that he didn't get caught wandering off a of third base there or maybe even going on contact that turns out to be a big second out Brandon Jordan will come forward now and what could be an at bat that goes a long way toward deciding this ball game and they better be careful too because they haven't gotten him out yet so this is no small task First pitch coming. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. From the belt, the pitch. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. A one one. Up high. Two and one now. And not only was that way high, but you've got to be careful not to airmail one over your catcher's head. Here comes the 2 1. He's fallen behind now, 3 and 1. He knows a drill out there. You've got to make him swing the bat. To not be giving up walks at this stage of the game, because those. Could be fatal. Now the 3 1 home. Oh, and a half swing there on a pitch out of the zone indeed. It's strike two. EK, where are you going now on three and two? I still got to work a corner. I'm not just going to throw it right down the middle and grab a strike. Can't be a giveaway pitch. Three-two pitch. Here's the ball hit pretty well and carrying the deep right. Maven is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. One left for Philadelphia and it remains a three-two ball game. Jet Jerko will come forward now. He has flied out in singles so far. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Now the first pitch. 
And here's one that misses to the leadoff man in the inning. The number six hitter in the lineup. It's ball one. Here's Lee now on 1-0. and oh. And, ooh, looked like a definite pitcher's pitch there on the inside, 1-1. One and one. Yeah, he's still got that good movement on the two-seamer. He's been throwing it well all night long. 1-1 one, one pitch on the way. And he okay. takes ball two, and it's 2-1. Two and one. A 2-1 offering. And a fastball is hit on the ground towards short. And a good throw gets him one gone. And that's what the two-seam fastball will do for you. Running away, not just for strikeouts. Here he gets him to hit it on the ground for an easy out. Derek Norris will stand in 0 for 2 thus far. Now here's the first pitch. This is hit down the right field line, but it's going to get out of play for strike one. Lee ready with the 0-1. And there's ball one. The 1-1 from Lee. Fouled back. One two home from Lee. And a fastball. Mm, tough take there, but it's even back at two and two. Here he comes on two and two. Now a swing and a high fly ball, and this one has some carry on it to deep right field. Jordan back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. Here's a look at his pitches by inning so far. That last one was number 84, so they're getting near the point where they'll need to start keeping tabs on him. Clint Barmas will stride in. He singled in his last plate appearance. First pitch on its way from Lee. And a high strike there, 0-1. For that man right there, you need look back only to his last start to see a performance like the one he's shown here so far. And well on his way to another great outing. And that's what you get when you mix your speeds and throw a lot of strikes. That's in there as well. It's a quick 0-2 count. And I'll tell you, being in a two-strike hole is not the spot you want to be in against a guy like this. The 0-2 now from Lee. And this is going to be a foul ball. The next 0-2. Fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. Now Lee will try it again, 0-2. Oh, Too high, 1-2. And, and now on 1-2, and two, this might be a spot where that high fastball was just a setup so that he could come back with that big curve. Here it comes. Now this is swung on, and here's another fly ball out to right field. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Three up, three down for San Diego. They're down three to two. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Jose Valverde will be summoned from the bullpen now. He'll take over to start inning number eight. Batting in the seventh spot, number 65, Jose Valverde. Now catching and batting in the ninth spot, number 52, Michael Franco will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Leading off for the Phillies, shortstop Michael Franco.
up and away to start the inning. It's 1-0. Now the 1-0 pitch. He goes the other way as this is hit in the air toward the gap in right center. And the eighth will start with a bang as this should be extra bases. Around second, he'll try for third. The relay, well, he is in there with a triple. Well, for a rookie, he is certainly excited when he sets loose out there. He knows from the second he rounds first that he's got three bases in mind. He's able to scamper over there and indeed leg out the triple. Adrian Beltre will step in now in a big spot here in a game as close as this one. And a chance at redemption, too, because he hasn't done much through his first three plate appearances, but he could make up for all of that with a base hit right here. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. First pitch coming. A splitter, but he started it too low as it bounces up to the plate. Here comes the 1-0. Swing and a grounder fouled, and that almost took the first base coach along with it. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Down low, two balls and a strike. The 2-1. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play, so that'll move the count to 2-2 two and two now. 2-2. Two, two. He goes the other way as this is hit in the air toward the gap in right center. Catch is made deep in the alley, and here comes the runner from third. And this will go down as a sack fly and an RBI as it's now a 4-2 game. And after the leadoff triple, this is just a case of a guy taking care of business out there with a runner in scoring position. All he's trying to do is get something airborne here. And that's mission accomplished as he gets the easy sacrifice fly. Nick Vincent is on his way into the ballgame now as he'll be making his 50th appearance of the year. Darren Ruff will dig in. He doubled home a run last time around. the first offering there's the cut fastball but it's low 1 and 0 here's the 1 0 that missed close it's ball 2 yeah a little unlucky here to be behind 2 and 0 those first couple of pitches haven't missed by a whole lot Now the 2-0. That Eight. one's more like it, he says. Back to 2-1 two and one now. And at the plate, if you've got an umpire helping you out, no reason to go after a borderline pitch on 2-0. and oh. All right. Here he comes on 2-1. and one. Fouled back. Bases are empty, one man out. The 2-2 coming. And this is swung on and bounced on the ground to third. Throw gets him. Two down. Salvador Perez 
will step in and we'll see if they decide to pitch to him this time around. Pitch on the way. Now a swing and a hard hit ball to short. Right there is Barmas. Throw on to Alonzo. Takes care of him and that ends the inning. So one run, one hit, no errors. And no one left on base. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. Philadelphia is on top. Four to two. Will Nieves will stand in now as he'll be getting his first plate appearance in this one here in the eighth. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. First pitch to him. Now the first pitch here is sent toward the hole and through into right for a leadoff single. Well, these guys have been high on effort, but low on results so far. They're still stuck on two runs, but at least they've got a leadoff base runner here to start this inning. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Cameron Maben will dig in now, and he'll do so representing the tying run. Yeah, and you're not too worried about this guy jumping the yard on you here and tying the ball game. But if he does find a way to get on base, things get a whole lot more interesting. And here's the first pitch. Went about halfway there, but it's a called strike regardless. A look here at the hits per side here in the late going. Comes set. Now the pitch. Plays off the slider and it's one and one. The 1-1. One, one. Down low again, it's 2-1. and one. Ready with the 2-1. And this is sliced foul into the stands and right out of play. The 2-2. Two, two. Ball three here as that pitch runs way up and in and backs him out of the box here. Yeah, he's not trying to hit him, I don't think, but sometimes you need to keep guys honest up there. I think that's all he was trying to do there. Now the three and two pitch. And on three two, he delivers the line drive out to left center. That's going to split the defenders out there for extra bases. Around third and being waved on home. And the runner will score from first. Well, there you go. That was easy. Lead off single puts the guy in the stretch, and in fact, a triple here chases him home. Yonder Alonso step in now in a real pressure spot as he's got the possible tying run 90 feet away at third. pitch to him. Oh, here's a line drive into center field. It's a base hit. In comes the runner from third, and we are tied here in the eighth. This guy has certainly been a tough out so far. Follows up that home run from earlier with his third RBI ball. Justin DeFreitas will get the assignment on the mound here as he'll enter with the runner at first and nobody out. Justin Upton 
will be the first to stand in against the new pitcher as he'll do so with the runner at first and nobody out. Here's the first offering. Too low, 1-0. Go ahead, runs the board here at first with nobody out. One oh on the way. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Yeah, there's a good one right there. Right over the top. Just fire that thing in there. Here's the one one. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. Two one home. And this is going to be a foul ball. Here's the two and two offering. And he gets under the two two a bit as this is sent in the air out to straightaway central. Revere will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Jesus Batista will stand in now, hoping to get on track as they've been able to neutralize his power out of the cleanup spot. 0 for 3 thus far. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. Possible go-ahead runs on first, one away. The 1-0 home. Well hit to right. And that'll slice just foul at the last moment. Ready now on one and one. And this is going to be a foul ball. Comes a one-two. One-two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. Now the two-two pick. And this misses, so that will fill the count at three and two. And you know, there are times in a game when you just have to challenge somebody. Like it or not, I think this is one of those times. Crowd gets up for the 3 2. Now here's the swing, and a ball hit well out there toward right center. And that finds the seam for extra bases as we'll see if they want to wheel that go ahead run home from first. The relay throw, and it's in time as he's out at third as the good relay gets him. Ramiro Pena will stand in looking to turn things around. Struck out and bounced into a double play so far. Not such a hot start. Now here's the first pitch. Off speed pitch and this one runs in and nearly gets him here. But one thing he's shown so far, not afraid to work inside. Yeah, with that base open right now, he shouldn't have to be afraid. If you do hit him, big deal. Get the next guy. The 1-0 -oh pitch. And he misses again, 2-0. Oh. Yeah, he's got an open base here. Looks like he's going to use it. Let's go. Two well count, the pitch. Swing and a miss on the heater, and it's 2-1. and one. That's a heck of a challenge here, especially with two outs and a base open. Never could commit to the swing there, but he went around, and it's even now at two and two. There's not a whole lot of conviction in that swing. It was almost like an afterthought, like an emergency hat. Two-two pitch on the way. This one misses, and that will fill the count here. Three and two with two away. You can see where they want to go to try and get him out. 
A lot of pitches in on the hands in this sequence. They don't want him to be able to extend. And he takes ball four. So now at least they're set up for the fourth at any base here with two away. Jean-Marc Gomez brought in from the bullpen as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two out. Jet Jerko. See what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home here in the inning so far. First pitch on the way. Starts him out with a slider for a strike. Come set. Now the pitch. Played and in, it's a ball and a strike. Nice easy stroke. Let's go. Now the one and one pitch. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And one thing you can't do here, you cannot lose him and load the bases. He's still got a couple pitches to play with, but I'd expect this one to be somewhere in the strike zone. Now the two one pitch. And this is on the ground toward the hole. On to first, and this will remain a tie ball game as the inning is over. So it's two runs on four base hits. No errors and a couple of men left on. We've played eight full, and we are tied 4-4. Dominic Brown will stand in, needing to get things started here in the top of the ninth. Number nine, Dominic Brown. Now the first pitch. Ninth Aye. inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Well, this pitching staff has done a pretty darn good job against him in this series. Now the pitch. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And that's going to land foul. Now here's the pitch. Trying to get him to chase the cutter there, a ball and two strikes. Here we go on an 0-2 count. All you have to do is start that thing right down the middle of the plate and then just let it work its way in. Hopefully get a swing through or maybe even a shattered bat. The one two. Now here's a little tapper down that third base line and this could be a tough play. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Another 1-2. Just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. Again, a 1-2. Swing, and I believe this one is going to find the seats as well. It does, so quite a battle here as it remains 1-2. Here's another 1-2. Driven down the left field line. Will it stay fair? It will not. Just slicing foul at the very last moment. So close to extra bases. Another 1-2 delivery. To two balls and two strikes now. And you know what, guys? This is a big league battle going on right now. Neither guy wanting to back down. No sign of weakness on either side. Here's the two and two home. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Another two two offering. 
And a swing as he pulls this one into right. Into a slide as he makes a great basket catch. Well, this ball was hit pretty hard, and he's just hoping to get on bases to go ahead run. But it kind of hangs up there a little bit too long, and it finds the outfielder's glove. Here's big Ryan Howard now. And a ball 1-0. And, oh. and on the mound here, you got to make sure you pitch to the ship. You don't want to make it easier for a guy to go the other way on it. Now Howard waits on the 1-0. Oh. Oh, Perhaps a little low there. It's 2-0. Oh. Now 2-0, oh, this is where he's the most dangerous up there. I know it's a fastball count, but maybe think about something else. Here comes the 2-0. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. Had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Here comes a 2 2. And this is swung on. Missed by Howard as he's prone to do occasionally. Set down on strikes for the second out. This is exactly what he needed after his guys came back to tie the ball game. He's only one out away from a shutdown inning. Ben Revere will stand in. He tripled in his last appearance. First pitch coming. First pitch is a changeup for a cold strike. He's probably not going to throw too many first pitch changeups. That's a pretty darn good call. And the pitch. Good cutter there, and he's got him behind the eight ball now, 0-2. Yeah, he came with a little bit of a different look that time. This pitch is also in their knee high, and now they've got him behind in the count, 0-2. And, and now pitch on the way. Now an off-speed pitch well inside, and it forces him to bounce away from danger. And if there's one thing you throw at their legs, now that's our meal ticket you're messing with. One, two. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And he will indeed make the play in foul territory to retire the side. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. This game's all tied at four. We're going to have a pinch hitter come on here as the youngster Matt Kemp has grabbed a bat and moved into the on-deck circle. Now some movement out in the Phillies' bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen. And that'll be grounded foul off to the left and near Glenn Hoffman, the third base coach. Now here it comes. Hit hard on the ground is short. Throws in time and that's out number one. Clint Barmas will stand in. He flew out his last time up. First pitch coming. First pitch is a slider called for a strike. Here's the pitch. Well struck, but foul over by the coaching box. Pitch on the way. Hard hit to third. And a sliding try there at third, but it skips by him a base hit. There you go. Now that potential winning run is on at first base. 
Uh, I don't think they'll try to butt him over here either. Not with one out already. He'll be open for a gaffer to try and end this right here, right now. Will Nieves stand in in a tie ball game here where a ball in the alley could end this thing. Let's go, take it here. Here's the first pitch. And a first pitch slider is right there for strike one. Oh, and you wonder if maybe he decided beforehand just to take a pitch up there first. Too bad for him because that thing was right down Broadway. The 0-1. Here we go. And this is popped foul off to the right and back into the seats. Now the 0-2 pitch. And now a sharply hit ball toward the right side as this gets foul past the coaching box. Take him on it. Another 0-2 coming. And a sinker sinks too much there as it bounces into the catcher's glove. You can do it. Now the one and two pitch. Swing and a ground ball towards the hole. And that'll get on through into right field for a base hit. Throw comes in quickly, so the winning run advances to second now with only one away. Well, that's the frustrating thing for a sinker baller. When you hit the ground ball you need, and it finds a hole. Now we've got two men on to deal with and only one away. Jake Diekman will be called upon to get the final two outs here and hopefully send this one into extra innings. Here's Cameron Mabin now. He'll take a look at a pitch too low. It's ball one. Nervous time now in that third base dugout. That nervous time up here. My heart's racing, and I'm just watching this game. Watch the DP. The 1 0. -oh. That's by him for strike one. You have to figure that sinker is going to be an important pitch for him here this afternoon. No question about it. Obviously, it's his ground ball pitch, so. If you're a hitter, you're going to need to make him bring that pitch up. So one and one pitch. That's on the corner to put him behind now. One and two. Now the one and two pitch. And here's a swing and a miss. And that, folks, is a big out number two. You got the go-ahead run in scoring position in this situation, and you come up with a huge strikeout like that. You're pumping your fist, your intensity is a little bit higher. This guy is focused in right now and very happy with his results. Yonder Alonzo will stand in here, but before he does, let's take you back to the very first inning. This was a two-run home run right out of the gate. They really got these guys off to a fast start. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Now the first pitch. Here's a sinker to start him out, but he wouldn't bite. It's ball one. Here's the 1-0. -oh. Off the plate again. 2-0 -oh now. Eric, what are you looking for here? It's a fastball count, but he doesn't always play by the rules out there, so this could very well be a slider or something away. So in other words, I have no idea. Boy, nothing working for him at this point. It's 3-0. The alarm bells are ringing now. They're getting louder and louder, too. Okay. And he gets this fastball over back to three and one now. That thing's coming in there hot. 96 miles an hour. You can do it. Now the three one. Three one pitch is a slider and he can't pull the trigger. It's three and two now.
Now the three and two pitch. Now this is lined into right center. He comes through. Around third and being waved on home. And the Padres are going to walk off as winners. Well, you have a sense early on that this one was destined to go down to the wire. And sure enough, these guys are going to pull this one out here in walk-off fashion. offensive showing for these guys, but if we had to pick one player that stood out, that's our man right there. He's our top player of the game. He stepped in knowing the game was on the line, and he was still aggressive. He found a pitch he could do something with, and he winds up winning the ball game. That'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Eric Caro, Steve Lyons, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskirchen. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. To find out more, head on over to theshownation.com. The Padres win it 6-4. to four. So long from San Diego. Final line score for this afternoon's ball game for the Victoria. And again, the 2 2. Popped him up. Foul ground to V.